everyone, a uh, short video here just on my little battery pack that I've built, which is a 12 volt pack to replace a uh, car AA battery pack for a DVD player. So um, you see here I've got this little plug, uh, which is uh, plugged into the DVD player, and uh, I've got three 18650s and another three here so there's uh, six which are both in parallel and all these batteries are in series so if I turn over the battery pack you'll see that I have the positive connected here and uh, the negative is connected onto this one here so the negative to the positive and this negative is connected to that negative this positive here is connected to that positive. So these two packs are identical. This one connects into that one. Um, and what I've done is I've stripped some wire and put the wire connecting that to that and that to that. And the same here, the same configuration as that one. And I've just zip tied that together there. Um, so if I wanted to, I could pull out all these three batteries. I've still got 12 volts. The reason why I've got six there is because for some reason, I think I know why this was, but um, for some reason when the voltage was dropping of the batteries and so fully charged, they're about 12 volts for three. Um, but when the battery was voltage was dropping, when I only had three, um, these uh, three batteries would get really, really warm, quite warm. And I suspected that and that was as they got down to 9 volts and I suspected that the reason why they got warm was because um, it was trying to pull too much current so to help with the current draw and also the the DVD player um, is a pretty sophisticated unit it's got two screens which are powered off the batteries as well so to keep it all um, a bit of a better, better current draw I've got two sets of batteries so um, if the DVD player pulls 3 amps, then I can have 1.5 amps out of both, which is what, what it is approximately. So now we'll go and have a look at it um, plugged into the DVD player and uh, running for us. So this is the DVD setup I've got. I've got two screens here and I have the DVD player, which I think is currently empty. Yep. And uh, I've got my battery pack here. One of the things I didn't mention about this battery pack is that, um, uh, and these are new batteries by the way, um, is that because I have the two set up, the two battery packs set up in um, uh, in parallel, it gives me double the capacity. So, um, so this pack here, with uh, this screen running, the DVD player, and this screen running with all the sound, will last about five to six hours. Um, so. That's pretty good. That's good enough for a couple of um, a couple of movies. So I'll plug it in here. Once I plug that in, uh, we we'll need to turn this on, and then you'll see that come on. You see the two lights come on here. This one's green, and we've got this one on here as well. Uh, so that means it's all running. And uh, you know I've run this as a test here yeah, with a couple of movies and it's run really really well I was quite happy with the results and um, so I'll go and get a DVD and we can put it in and see how it's uh, see how it goes and put this in and now this will read the uh, the DVD and hopefully we'll be able to see the DVD on two screens. So this will be on the back of one uh, seat in the car. This will be on the back of another seat in the car. And we've got these long cables here um, that we can use to connect. Alright, so that's starting up. So this is uses about 3 amps probably, this setup, I think. Uh, because you can get all different kinds of adapters for it. And we'll just 
turn that down a bit. So you can get all different kinds of adapters for it, uh, but it's about three amps, which means that they're pulling 1.5 amps from each of these battery packs, which is acceptable, I think. Um, so uh, we can put the song on. Let's go to a song that I like, Layla, and we'll start playing that so we'll be able to see that come up on the screen. So this is um, him playing Layla, Eric Clapton. And the guy in the background there on the piano is a very, very good pianist called Chuck Lavelle. He's awesome. And you get hold of this album, it's really good. It's a really good blues album. And uh, so that's Layla on my little setup here. So if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.